So the balloon wall and the letters, I feel like we're gonna move probably the letters a little bit out to the right. I'm gonna see. huge job coming up um, it's gonna be on Saturday but we do have um, an additional prep day for Friday so they are letting us in early but only nine to three so uh, just to give you a backstory I got this order on Saturday for the following Saturday so I had a week um, all of these balloons are from balloons online so this job in particular I'm gonna be using Majority of Sempertex, I do have some, this is the Arch Rod, that's also from there. These are just old 260s that I have, um, which I'm not going to, like, I usually wouldn't use it, but I am going to use it just to get rid of them, um, but I don't use Jamar for the most part. These are some Tuck Tex that I have, white, 24 inch, and then I just have, like, some Scally, scab, what is the word? Um, scavenging? I don't know. So, um, I don't know. So, usually I keep my balloons in a jar like this. What I do is I cut out the label inside of it. And I usually just put it inside of the jar. So, the reason why I'm not even going to bother putting them in the jar. Because I probably will end up using at least like 90% of these balloons. So, I'm using the round blue and white and pastel blue so i also got like 260s and all of that as well but yeah so these are the colors blown up this is the blue this is the pastel blue and this is the white if you wanted to do these same colors in like let's for instance say um coilosex you would use pale blue for this. I think this is a little darker than pale blue, but the problem with pale blue is that sometimes it comes up too pale. So I do use the Air Force pump. I have two of them. It just makes it easier when people are helping me to be able to have two of these very powerful pumps. I just have it set up on this box. So the next time that you guys see me, I'll kind of, I think I'm just gonna do the clouds for today because I still have tomorrow to prep as well. So today I'm most likely just doing the clouds because it's gonna be a cloud, um, a bunch of clouds. It's gonna be an arch. Trust me, stop. It's gonna be a bunch of clouds, an arch, and a pretty big balloon wall that has like two garlands as well in the ceiling. So I'm obviously gonna be vlogging all of that. Um, but yeah, so the next time you guys see it will be, at least the clouds will be done. So. Um, this is how you would set up the trailer like the trailer has to be attached to your hitch system so it's like a thing under here that like oh I have a spare tire I didn't know that um, you have to attach that like you have to get this installed sometimes your car comes with it but sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't come with it you can actually buy it and get it put on and then you put this you get this little ball and then u-haul this is like the u-haul portion of it they just snatch it on like they just pick it up and put it on there um when it comes to this particular trailer i actually cannot lift this up by myself the 5 by 8 and the 4 by 8 i can but the 6 by 12 i cannot so i have to go to u-haul during the hours that it's open or when someone's with me because if a man is not with me 
it's not going on um so it's just attached to my truck and i pull it like when i'm driving um it's not hard to drive with it you just kind of get to get used to it but i'm going to show you like the inside portion of it so you can see like how much balloons can fit inside so obviously the slash has to be closed <laughs> i will tell you about some times where i did not close that and i just drove off and it's happened to me like a lot and pretty recent so this is how big it is to give you an idea let me zoom out so that's how big it is it should be able to fit at least the arch and the cloud balloons on the first run and then the second run would probably have all of my five inch um balloons for my wall like basically the whole install and the ceiling so um, scratch what the hell i said in the bathroom i'm probably not gonna be able to put put the wall balloons in here which is okay because i'll just make sure and bring somebody or i will actually have the mental capacity to do it there like i said earlier i do have a two-day setup for this event so so okay so i guess this would be considered day two so i basically blew up all the clouds i'm working on the five inch i did the ceiling garlands and i did the arch so the only thing left to blow up is the wall so i was like a little hesitant and like back and forth with if i wanted to blow up the wall there or here so i decided i'm gonna do two trips crazy story but i need a root canal tomorrow and the setup is tomorrow so the setup is at from nine to three and our root canal is from nine to eleven so i should get there hopefully by 12 and unload everything by one and be done setting up these things by hopefully three because that's when we have to get out by i will obviously just leave everything there but the whole point of that is that is so that on saturday when i come back it would only be to set up the wall so i am gonna have to do two trips i am gonna have to pay for the u-haul for three days so that'll be like 120 dollars but that's not horrible because i don't have to worry about miles so granted i probably would have spent the same amount of money or maybe only like 30 dollars more if i was doing one trip but i'm not gonna harp on it it is what it is it's already done it's not that serious this is why i charge delivery fees so that i never have to worry about not being compensated for my inconvenience so so far um i have my balloons here so three colors there i have all my 260s there the five inch the clouds are under there and then these are the garlands that i put together the reason why i put them in garlands from ahead of time is because sorry if i'm talking a little funny my mouth is numb so the reason why i put them in garlands is because they transport better inside of the u-haul so i'm still in the process of doing the five inch i'm not too stressed about the five inch because at the end of the day that's also something i feel comfortable with doing the day of which is saturday um <clears throat> i just don't like that there's so much going on for the shower i don't want to be in the way so i'm basically putting five inch in the arch obviously and the wall but i will not be putting five inch in the ceiling garlands just because i feel like it's usually pointless and it's pretty high up so it kind of does nothing by you know um being up there so this is where we're blowing up everything let me not say where because my mom blows up all my balloons i'm very lucky so right now these are all that's left um from doing that i am contemplating whether or not i want to make the ceiling garland thicker. i'm not sure if i do i would just cut these apart and incorporate them into the ceiling garland that's already up there so i guess the next time you see Okay. Okay. 
So we're in here. And I'm in here. I'm saying we. I'm so used to saying we. But I'm here by myself. I'm going up. I think it's the third floor. Going up. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Um. Yeah, it is because it's level three. That's the name of the venue. It's inside of Aventura Mall. So it was kind of annoying, like bringing it up here, but it's a big elevator, so that helps a lot. So I'm just gonna drop these off really quick and then go back down and get the rest. So, it's the venue here. So, it's the driving. The letters. Hi, Preston. I'm recording. <laughs> so I'm lucky with the beams because they are going to be magnetic. So I don't have to worry about that. So we're trying to figure out if the letters are going here or if they're going over here or where. So, um,. This venue is indoor and outdoor, but I don't think they're using anything for outdoor. So I have to finish loading up now. So I'm going back in the elevator. So um, right now I'm parked like a little bit far because it's not a little bit far, but it would just be easier to put me put up closer. So I'm gonna talk to Valley to see if they will allow me to open up, um, to come closer just to unload really quick throw them in here and then move my car so I'm gonna pray for that but it's looking like I'm only gonna have enough time frame to set up for the arch and that's okay it's still something <clears throat> um, if the ceiling could get done too that'd be cool but I'm really gonna just try to focus on the arch so that way tomorrow I'm only worried about hold on this is so scary so that way tomorrow I'm only worried about um, second the wall. And the wall is actually pretty easy. Because I prep everything, so I'm still gonna have the trailer. I'll probably just end up reloading. So if you can see, it's literally inside of Aventura Mall. It's like by like Nike. And um, what else? I think Zara's over here too. So I just have to ask them if I could pretty please stay up here but I doubt it so I don't even think I'm gonna ask because they already have like cars up here usually cars aren't here so I would actually go like down that slope but I have the trailer on so it's like the balloons did pretty well um in here because they've been in this hot trailer since I want to say about um eight o'clock no like 7 30 so it did pretty well because I took them with me when I went to go do the root canal so that could give you an idea of how long you can keep them in. I do have to, hold on, let me open up my truck. <sighs> I'm so hot. And I can't drink any water because of uh, my mouth being jacked up. So I have to bring in this book bag. I'm gonna take my keys with me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just take out everything. Um, really and truly, <sighs> I'm trying to think like what I should do because it's like my lunchbox and my water, but I don't even need it. So these are like the actual like table and balloons and stuff. So I'm gonna see if they have some type of like cart or trolley or something I could use for that because that's like too much shit to have to bring up. I mean stuff, I'm gonna be nice and not curse. So yeah, so I'm gonna put the camera away just to take out the balloons and then I'll be back. So there's a lot of sun, but, so this one, I said the arch, this is what I'm setting up. Um, this is the entrance. I'm not sure if this is going here exactly, but I think it is. So I'm gonna put the balloons on it and then they have the letters here. I don't think any balloons are going on there, but I'm gonna double check um, tomorrow. So because it took so long to load up, I had to bring all this stuff up here now because it took so long i'm probably gonna end up only being able to do the arch which it sucks but it's not that big of a deal at least i'm getting to do something that i don't have everything to do for tomorrow so i won't get to do the clouds but i'll at least get to do this okay so 
Today was like a little bit of a failure, but I knew this was gonna happen. Um, so two things, the couch did not end up getting delivered today and um, it took a really long time to unload everything. So, so far I have the base of the arch, um, which is not horrible because all I'm gonna do is when I get home, now I know what I need to prep um, when it comes to this. So I know I need to, cause I wanna make it bigger, like thicker. So I know exactly what needs to be prepped for here so I can bring that back. Tomorrow that'll probably take me like 30 minutes to like fully add them on and then maybe like an hour to complete it. Um, over here with these ceiling garlands, I was trying to figure out a way to like make it make sense because in all honesty, I don't really like them in the ceiling um, just because they're really high compared to the letters. So I was trying to drape them down a little bit, but I still don't like how it looks. So I might honestly end up taking that down tomorrow and just leaving it to be just the balloon clouds to go across there. I think that's what she was asking me in the first place, but I didn't know if she wanted the beam in the, like these two beams, or I didn't know if she wanted that beam and this beam. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow I have to spend like probably an hour on putting up the clouds, an hour doing the arch, so that's two hours. That put me at 11 o'clock. And then the wall, I would say about an hour. That put me at 12. And then the ceiling garlands, I gotta figure out what to do with them because to be honest, I think it would make more sense to put them on top of the letters. Um, but I'll see what she says because I think it would look better, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm not the designer, I'm just the balloon um, person. So I just have to see what she wants to do with those, but I'm probably gonna end up cutting them down. Um, luckily I installed them with magnets. If you can see there, there, there. So it's not gonna be a lot to take them down. I literally just have to rip them off. Um, it's just, I, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it in the ceiling. And even over here, I'm not really feeling it in the ceiling as well, but we'll see tomorrow. Um, if I put them really, really tight up in the ceiling, they're not gonna be that noticeable. So that was the whole reason I'm trying to drape it down, but we'll see, tomorrow's another day. Um, I thought we were gonna be able to get in here at eight, but apparently it's nine. Uh, so I gotta make it do what it do. Um, I'm probably gonna end up bringing my niece tomorrow. Um, just so that if I have to blow up anything extra or bring anything up in here, um, I'll be okay. Like she could do that. So yeah. And then I still have my flight tomorrow and I still just got a root canal. So I'll be back. The next time you see me, I'll be back at my house prepping more balloons. So I'm really glad I didn't bring back that trailer because i have been screwed. So I'm definitely gonna go home and just finish prepping, do as much as I can. Cause it's always easy when I have all my balloons that I could just throw them up however I want um, versus having to like sit and like put them together. So it sucks that I didn't get to do what I wanted to do, but it's not horrible. Um, I still did a boatload, especially to be by myself. So, see you tomorrow. Well, I get home, not tomorrow. Eh. A lot of stuff, but the vlogging camera is the only thing I need to know enough. So, we made progress. So, the clouds I had to end up putting up with fishing line instead of the magnets because they wouldn't stick through the. Um, fabric and then the balloon wall I just have to add in the five inch Love it. Wonderful. <laughs> I had to add in the five inch Nikki's being nice today she's being so nice that means we're on time I added to the arch the only thing I'm gonna do is add like um, some jumbos fix the ceiling garland I kept it like simple and like a little thinner just because I felt like there was a lot going on um, so the only thing I have left to do is add in the five inch and then add the clouds um, in here. I'm gonna add four clouds in here because this is the 360, So, but this one I'm gonna do lower. So I'm gonna put these lower and that way they'll be able to see when they spin around. So we're getting there. I wanted to update like more often, but it was just too much because 
I was freaking out about the time. So I'm gonna add in the five inch and then probably just add some more jumbo balloons. But they're gonna do the floor wrap now. So I'm going to move this ladder and check back in when I'm like 95% done. But it's coming along. This is the, what, what size floor wrap is this? 15 by 20. Okay. <laughs> 15 by 20 floor wrap. And Nikki's still happy. So the balloon wall and the letters, I feel like we're gonna move probably the letters a little bit out to the right, I'm gonna see.
You're just bad luck with them. No, no, it's supposed to happen. Yes? Because there's no way? Okay. What do you think? Yes. I know. I have to use the ladder to go up there because the chair won't reach. So I'm going to get more paper towel. Yes, please. The toilet paper? Yes, please. And I'll go up there with the ladder. I just add this up. These are all the extra fire range. My mom is gonna shoot me. Um, so I'm just gonna put it away. No, the last. We're almost there. It's not gentle. Yes, right? But we also, that's just a bag of fodder. How are you? Waiting for the flowers. See you. Oh my god, I'm knocking stuff. That photographer is going to have a hard time with the light. So... And the cake. And the pillows. It's so cute. So I'm fully ready. I have makeup on my clothes. And then I just got a notification that my flight got delayed, of course. So it's the way so far, but I'm like, like it's not. I'm just going to drop my car off. I really hate this outfit. Like I would never usually wear this to the airport unless it's dirty, but I guess what I gotta do. But I'm pissed because now I could have gone home and like took a real shower, not a shower in a bathroom, but whatever. It's okay. <laughs> I always eat before I come to the airport, and I didn't. And the one time I don't, my flight is delayed. So now, I have to get a pizza because I wanted to just get chips, because I did just have a root canal. But, I ended up um, not because the chips are the same price as the pizza. I'm going to Florida. So, going out. So I didn't end up getting on the flight. Um, it still keeps delaying, like it's still delaying now. So I just got up and left because I'm like, I would be a fool to get up and go on this flight and then end up getting stuck tomorrow. So I'm currently at the venue to pick up my stuff because Nikki the planner was gonna, that's literally her <laughs> She was going to just take my stuff for me. But I'm like, I didn't end up going, so 